Hello, today I'm going to show you these two folders which relate to the introduction of the euro coinage within Europe. Each country got to choose designs for one side of the coin and so each country who accepts the euro has a set of coinage which is unique to that country but they're spendable and legal tender in every country within the eurozone so they're all worth the same amount I'm sure most of you are familiar with how it all works this set has each different country's designs sealed behind plastic there so all in perfect condition quite a nice set and at that stage there weren't so many members as there are now so we have the key members I'm sure they produced lots of sets like this I can't imagine that it's a, a rare thing now Lithuania joined later on and I particularly like the design of their coins with the knight on horseback that was the theme of their coinage beforehand um, so I've got these sets which I use just to make up some of the countries which have joined since they give a few details on the left hand side about the uh, populations of the countries and when they join there's a Malta there with the Maltese cross on them so that's the set of coins which they introduced the second folder is about the coinage which was outgoing at the time and each of these gives you a set of notes uh, well a set of coins and a single note all in perfect condition again sealed in plastic so that gives you some idea of the coinage which was replaced by the euro just have a look at the French ones on the other side Republic Francais they give you a little map of where the country is So this is quite a nice thing to keep. Interesting to know how many of these were produced. I imagine it was no small number. I don't think this is going to be an heirloom. I don't pick it up that often, but when I do, it's nice to look through. Thanks for watching.